So the second mode inside the Surface Com strand data export, besides the sync size, is the sync distance mode. And if you select this mode, it can be quite useful for filtering out or controlling the distribution of your strands. So sync distance mode, and if we go back to our sync editor, you can see that we already created some syncs. Basically means that we're going to use the sync direction vector. Let's actually take the sync and maybe the tool settings, switch it from direct to repel or attract to visualize the direct influence area. So everything inside the circle over here will get a value, which is the specified by max value, a value of one, and everything outside of it will get a value of zero. So I'm just going to take the, take the other syncs and also set them to repel mode so we can visualize their influence ranges better. I'm just going to close this and I'm going to go and on top of the surface com operator add an operator called filter strands. Filter strands allows us to remove strands selectively based on some criteria. So by default it's set to random and we can just use a fraction value to remove or add strands. But instead of just using a random fraction value, we can also use a fraction channel. So if I go here and instead of none, I select my sync values and I select my fraction value to one or somewhere close to one. And then I go back to my surface comb and enter this sync editor mode. You can see uh, that we can use the syncs to directly specify where we want our strands to appear and where we want them not to appear. So if I increase the size of a sync, we will get strands that are growing directly inside the influence range of the sync. And if two or more syncs overlap, they're just going to use the value of whichever sync is closer. So we can have multiple syncs defining directly the areas of strand growth. Additionally, if I go back down, I also have this smooth option over here. If I increase this option, it's going to control how hard we have these edges over here or how smoothly we transition from having strands to having no strands altogether. Right now, if you can see that the, the fall off is quite sharp, but we can remedy this a little bit by using either strand width or strand length to gradually smoothen this transition between having strands and not having strands. If I go to my change width operator and I change the width channel from none to sync values, you can see that now we are getting thick hair in the middle and they're getting progressively thinner towards the edges. In fact, I can just turn off uh, the sync values in my filter operator altogether because now the hairs that are outside of our sync influence ranges are just going to have a thickness value of zero and thus will not even be visible. But it's always a good idea to filter those out anyways because it will reduce the actual number of strands that gets sent to your renderer and thus improve performance. I can always go back to my sync editor and add more syncs where I need them or if I want I can go and delete syncs that I don't need. I can also take and move them at any place that I want and uh, use this functionality to directly control distribution without having to paint maps or vertex channel.